dear children, you know, I have a special friend to introduce to you. Do you want to see who is my friend? And he is B the B. You know, B the B, B E T H E B E A. Okay, can I call him? Right, B the B, my dear friend. Can you come and see all my friends? Children, can you all shout along with me, calling my friend? Okay, be the bee. Ready? One, two, three, go! Be the bee! I be the bee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my friend be the bee. He cannot wait even for a few seconds. I think he is having some problem. Be the bee. Do you got any problem? Okay, here, here you see your friend, be the bee, my friend, be the bee, hello. What is this? Honey. Honey. Ah. Huh? You want to say to me something? Hmm. Ah, come on. Be the bee wants to say some secret. Come on. Children, do you know what be the bee said to me? This honey, you know, this was collected by be the bee, it seems. Mm. <laughs> clap, 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 hands for that. Mm. To collect one liter of honey, be the bee, it has to work, it has to collect from at least two million flowers. It's too much, isn't it? Is it too much or little? Too much. Too much. Yeah, too it's much. too much. Two million, right? Imagine it has to work very hard to collect one liter of honey. Yes. Okay, let's have a challenge. Children, do you like challenge? Yes. 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 Oh, do you all like challenge? Yes. Okay, be the B, I know you are very hard working even yes. to collect a one liter of honey. Mm. You travel, you collect honey from two million plus. Is it mm. too much or very less? Too much. Too much. Okay. Too much. Let's see whether uh, children you can help uh, be the bee to find all these from the different plus. Okay. I will wait until you bring it. Okay. Mm. Let's. Mm. Be the bee is going right to collect the honey from different flowers. Oh yes, flowers! Thank you, thank you. Coming with something. Let me see. Oh, you found the honey. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see the little bee is now with blessed. Okay. Now let me paste it in its proper place, okay? That is my another flower. Did you see? Yes. What? coming let's see now see little bee has got another honey okay all the okay good good little mm. bee you are too quick mm. we have to paste it here okay okay, okay. Go, go 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 find the other honey there, oh, there you found it. super thank you so much Little bee has come with another one. Come on, little bee, come first. See children. Ah, little bee, go and find the next one. Go, go, okay, go. Okay, okay. Ah, it's poor in. Where? That. Oh, way. yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's really quick. Little bee. Very good. Come, 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 come. Oh. 
Oh, little bee. Go, 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 go. Quickly find the next one. See, it has come with the next honey spirit. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's coming. Little bee. <laughs> oh, you found the next. Oh, the next honey. Mm, it's yes. for dyers. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Good, good. Go. Go, 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 go. Go quickly. It's that. It's that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. See, the little bee is coming with the next one. Come, come. Let's, mm. let's see which word. Ah. La honey, the next honey is is there. Thank you, thank you. You you Welcome. need to work little more. Go fast. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it fits here, right? Part of the oak. Oh, it's here. Right. It will be. Oh, very hard worker, right? Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This time it's kingdom, right? And kingdom fits here. It's here. Let be the bee come. Oh, be the bee is now with of heaven. Children! Yes. Yes. Me very spell flower. Be the bee. Yes. 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 Matthew 5 3. Matthew 5 3. Matthew 5 3. Oh, Matthew 5 3. Thank you. Be the big, be the big, be the big. Oh, great, great, great. See, be the bee has come with the last part of the hmm, verse. What's that? Matthew. <coughs> Five, three, okay, right, children. Since B the B has worked very hard for us to finish up this collection of this honey, why don't we all um, say without seeing so that we will honor B the B? Huh? Shall we? Shall we? Ready? One, two, three, go. B the B. You need to listen carefully whether we all recite this verse without seeing, uh, without okay. missing anything. Okay? Yeah. Children, come on, come on, come on. Ready? Blast. 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 The, uh, for the. Blast. Or the. Poor mm. in. Poor in. Spirit. Spirit. For the. For the. Mm. Is the. Is the. Kingdom. Kingdom. Of it. Of heaven. Okay. okay. That is it. Matthew. Five, three. 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 Very good. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. That's good. Thanks. Having having you among us is a great pleasure for us. Be the bee. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Say thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Children, did you ever thought what does this Bible verse mean? What's the Bible verse? Blessed are those who are poor in the spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. What does blessed mean? Blessed, it's a gift of God, isn't it? That is blessed. Okay, why does the Bible speak blessed are the poor in spirit? They are blessed. What does poor mean? My friends, they will explain what does poor means. Okay. Poor means do not have enough. One who has no money. You Do you have any answer? Come on children, can you speak what does poor in the spirit means? What does poor means? Hmm. Sir, sir, have you ever uh, looked to a beggar, right? Why does he beg? Because he has very little or he doesn't have anything, isn't it? Poor means there is a lack, there is a need. Uh, that uh, very, uh, they, 
have very low income so they are all poor right what does poor in the spirit means poor in the spirit right now i just want to explain to you what is that poor in spirit poor in spirit see jesus when he was alive and when he was on this planet earth he was speaking to people with parables such wonderful parable is what you are seeing here see i have uh, hannah and uh, josh josh are here to help me okay and see this is pharisees prayer jesus christ said that there were two people right who came to god's temple to pray and one is pharisee and the other one is tax collector Do you want to listen? Uh, I just want you to listen to these prayers, and you need to tell me who was poor in the spirit. Okay. Now let's start with Pharisee. Okay, Pharisee's prayer, right? Mm. God, I thank you that I am not like other people, like tax collectors, evil, evil, yes. evil doers. adulterers adulterers or even like this tax collector see even like this tax collector right okay we will see one prayer, one of the prayer of tax collector okay mm. god have mercy on me a sinner see this tax collector prayed like this god Have mercy on me, hmm, because he is a sinner. Okay, and let's see another prayer of a, a Pharisee. Hmm. Hmm. I fast twice a week and see, hmm. uh, Pharisee is very proud about Pharisee's fasting, isn't it? Mm. Then give a tenth of all I get. Mm. Give the tenth. All how, how much? Uh, how much this Pharisee gets? 
very proud of giving, right? Okay, we will see uh, the prayer of tax collector. Mm -hmm. But beat is breast and side. Side. Okay. See, uh, this um, tax collector, he bet himself uh, and he said he humbled himself. Okay. And the next one. Okay. Mm. Come on. He will not even mm. look up to heaven. Heaven. He is, yeah, he, he was so afraid even to look up to heaven and make this simple prayer. Okay, what was the prayer? God, have mercy on me, right? Because I am a sinner. See, now, you have uh, learnt about both their prayers. Okay, Pharisee's prayer and also tax collector's prayer. Whom do you think he was poor in spirit? Children, can you answer whether Pharisee's prayer was uh, it looks humble or the tax collector's prayer was humble? Whom do you think was humble? Yes, I know. You all uh, replied that tax collector's prayer is humble prayer. And who is now poor in spirit? Mm, tax collector is poor in spirit. Hmm? In the spirit he feels I am a sinner. He wants mercy from God, right? He is not even dare enough to look the direction to heaven, right? Look up to heaven, right? He is he was so humble, right? He was standing uh, humble, but see, the Pharisee was proud, right? That he gives, see, Pharisee gives more, and uh, Pharisee is very proud, and he. Pharisee compass this tax collector, right? See, humble. Uh -huh. We need to be poor in spirit. Why we need to be poor in spirit? Can you all say? Because they will be called children of heaven, right? They will be called as children of heaven, right? God bless you. I think you, you need to learn a lesson, right? Today's from today's lesson, you need to learn a lesson from uh, what type of people you are going to be. What type of people you are going to be? You are, need to be a humble, mm, uh, a person who is poor in spirit because they will be, mm, the, 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 theirs is the, heaven is their place, isn't it? Yes. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, uh, Joshan. Okay, thank you for helping us to learn this lesson. Why don't we all clap hands for both of them? Thank you. When the world is promoting self too much, we are not called for that. See, even when you are a sinner, God loves you. John 3.16, it says like that, isn't it? You know that verse. God can love you in whatever manner you are. Right? That is the gift. That is the blessing. But you know, to accept that blessing, to get that blessing, you need to have poor in spirit. Okay, now, what does poor in the spirit gives you? It gives you, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Okay, kingdom of God. That means, see, uh, this is against me attitude. Okay, this is against me attitude. See, you need to get rid of me attitude and you need to get be attitude. Be like Christ. Be like Christ. Isn't it? That attitude, it must come. When you get that attitude, then you have a feeling that no, I need God's. I cannot be perfect by myself. I cannot be so good by my thoughts or my studies. I need someone who can help me, who can restore me. That kind of attitude is poor in the spirit. If I end the lesson like this, that we are poor in spirit, we are not having enough to make ourselves right 
to stand in front of God, that will be a very bad ending, isn't it? But don't worry, you have a good news. The good news is the gospel. What is that? God loves you and me, even we are dead sinners. We do not have that capacity. We are still poor in spirit. You know, God loves us, right? Now, take a bookmark and keep it in Romans 5, 8. Okay, from your Bible, right? Uh, take take your Bible, turn to Romans 5, 8. Okay, and make a book, bookmark there. Right, now you keep it on your head. Mm. Now you keep it on your head. Head, okay, when I say at the count of three, you need, you all need to turn to Romans 5, 8 and read. Okay, mm. now I think you all are ready with your Bible. Bookmark that Romans 5, 8. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Mm. I'm going to read Romans 5, 8 for you. And you all need to read along with me. Okay, what does it say? It says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this while we are still sinners. Amen. Right? Christ died for us. See? He made you and me capable of right to stand in front of him. Isn't it? That's the good news. That's the wonderful news that we have. Isn't it? Okay, children.